data suggests is that it is more transmissible it is spreading more rapidly and it is gradually becoming a dominant uh, uh, variant uh, as far as covid-19 is concerned but the data also suggests that it is not causing more severe infection it's not causing more hospitalization gn1 gn1 associated covid has increased exponentially in last 2 3 weeks we need to be but not get panicky at all so what the data suggests is that it is more transmissible it is spreading more rapidly and it is gradually becoming a dominant uh, uh, variant uh, as far as covid-19 is concerned uh, both in uh, the us in europe singapore and we are seeing more cases in india also so it is causing more uh, infection possibly because it is more transmissible and taking over the older strains but the data also suggests that it is not causing more severe infection it's not causing more hospitalization and most of the symptoms are predominantly of the upper airways like fever cough cold sore throat running nose and body aches sir as of now like covid variant cases are also coming flu rsv cases are also rising how to stay healthy in this particular season so this is the season when you will see viral infection respiratory viral infections becoming more every year we see them whether it's influenza now covid and i used to rsv and other viral infections so and that happens because of the temperature because of crowding it's a holiday season people travel so they will carry the virus with them there is crowds and many of the crowds are indoor because of the cold weather and that leads to the spread of infection in in different uh, in number of people so i would say what we need to do is first of all covid appropriate behavior wash your hands regularly if you have cough and cold cough into your armpit or into a tissue so that you don't spread the infection to others avoid going to crowded places especially if you have fever cough and cold because you may be spreading the infection to others and if you are in the high risk group that is if you have uh, comorbid conditions like diabetes chronic respiratory diseases chronic kidney disease or heart failure or you are in the older age group then you should wear a mask if you go to a crowded place or if you can avoid going to indo crowded place because you can catch the infection within india from november onwards actually i think it is october last week and then till now in last 8 weeks we have just seen about 20 22 cases and there is no evidence that it is spreading very rapidly uh, as uh, all of us are aware that most of the cases are in goa and uh, this is festival time this is vacation time so there is lot of crowd going to be there so but overall we have not seen that it has in the number of gn1 uh, gn1 associated covid has increased exponentially in last 2 3 weeks when we look at uh, the most recent data of insacog still uh, except these uh, 20 odd cases of gn1 all other cases are xbb variant of omicron and uh, and that is what we see across the country gn1 is just less than 1% of all the isolates so far so what are the uh, symptoms have been noticed in this particular case symptoms are very similar you on the basis of symptoms one cannot differentiate gn1 from the other uh, uh, sub variants of uh, uh, omicron it's like uh, fever nasal discharge cough there can be occasional diarrhea also severe body aches and usually it recovers in 2 to 5 days so what about hospitalization the, uh, there is no increase in hospitalization uh, recently the number of cases have certainly increased the testing has also picked up uh, and uh, we see that the number of cases are more currently we see a lot of cases in kerala but i must uh, also state that in other states where uh, testing has increased recently we are seeing more number of cases or positives there also so uh, but there is no concomitant increase in hospitalization or severe disease need for ventilation or deaths because of this sir so at this stage how worried we should be i would like to assure everybody that we need to be vigilant but not get panicky at all